More moments later. Welcome to Darlene's workshop. Excuse the mess that I have here today, but I am going to make a different style. Today I am making a zipper key holder charm purse. Yeah! Hello and welcome to Darlene workshop. As you can see, my, my work table is a uh, kind of mess because i'm making a lot of stuff here especially i'm up to the uh purse jewelry like the zipper um uh, zipper bag jewelry and i have a lot of stuff up here just like this one here i mean you can you can do a lot of thing about making this jewelry bag purse purse and you can amaze that what you can do it's just a lot of you know uh, what do you call that? A spacer, different kind of bangles that you can hang on that. And right now, I, I mean, different kind of uh, ring, uh, key rings, okay? This one I like, okay? You can get that to Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree or walmart and this one they got different one see that you can push it like that you just um have to practice to how to work this lol so this is a, a big lobster cloths that you can is they call it you can put it in a in a purse insert it in a purse and the jewel charm will be hanging it's so pretty you you can amaze that you will be amazed at how many uh arts and crop out there to make different kinds of goodies charms purse See, right now, what I'm thinking is making me my own key, key chains. 
key holder or key change or or key something whatever so you insert the key there okay you insert this one here if you want just to to make it uh to hook this okay in your purse a zipper purse and you you hook that like that and then you can make a different kind of um charms the hanging like that okay but i make my own different way because it just all the matter is all nothing is a common sense okay common sense is what where when how why lol so what i'm trying to do i make my own you know me i make i like challenge like uh, ridiculous or wow you know that's impossible project okay but this is just an example of making your own and make a fancy elegant key holder okay i just showing you and tell and this one is hard of course this is made of uh, i think it's eight or six gauge that's really hard it's hustle and bustle for this so i'm just trying to show you i'm going to make my own key rings okay just like um this one right here you know this is a different one i made you can put a a little beads in there but this this gauge is 15 gauge the bigger the gauge the bigger the beads okay so anyway i i got me a a measurement of 10 and a quarter or make sure 10 and a half it's okay but you of course you check the ends if it's clean or what so just clean that up the edge of that both both of them okay that's the first thing you have to do i have to do so it's still not good because I'm seeing the white stuff on that. Up to remove that. And then after that, you have to. Okay, you have to just smooth that. Okay, this is 15 gauge. It's still soft. See, it's easy to bend. Okay, as long as it's not pokey or sharp to touch and then you just, uh, you just do this okay or you you use the machine i have a machine here to whoa, whoa, whoa hold on calm down see that machine that uh, clear the edge of that but I need something in there. So I still don't find where what happened of that. So anyway, to make a story short, just file it up and then you file it up with a soft smoothing file and just fill it up, it is okay. It's not uh, scratchy to touch, so and then i can hammer the edge this is just this is just different kind of uh, thing over here okay just like a spiral in the end but this is going to be my key ring okay i just trying to make a fancy key rings because must well do a little fancy if you're gonna hang 
a jewelry here like a charm, right? So you know me, I always have uh, impossible Mm. impossible project to make and I soft it out with a rubber <clears throat> hammer and then I will flatten the ends okay instead of making the spiral another style of filing then uh, filing I mean different style of the uh, of this key ring and I just going to hammer the edge okay instead of a spiral I make that um, hammer the edge okay after the hammer the edge you just go ahead and file with a soft file again to make it smoother okay and doing the same thing the head okay this is going to be a part one of making a purse charms charm purse whatever it comes first to say then I file that up okay Put it up like that. Okay, uh, you know me, I always want a challenge thing. And oh, don't forget, after you do that file, you soap it at the end again. Okay. And I will, let me see, just straighten up like that. I know it's kind of crooked, but you're gonna bend that anyway. So I'm use I'm using this, but you can use the uh, mandrel, but mandrel the different sizes. Okay, what I do, I just do a this one size. Okay, this is a wrap for a. Uh, for the kitchen tool. It's not a tool, but when you wrap a wrapper, okay, and you cover with the food with it. So I use this one, it's hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, to bend that in the middle, make sure it's in the middle. And then I put this one right here She's the same size. It's not like a mandal. They big and small and like that. You are going to wrap that like a, making a wrap or earrings or rings. Okay. So you go wrap there. So they look opposite way. Okay like that like that see see this is the another way of making a fancy and the edge of your what do we call that a uh, bend a little bit okay make a rounded like that this is what's gonna look like okay i either use this and or i use the one like that see like that okay so there we go you have you have a key rings okay and it's easy to put this one here around I don't fit now but you can do it like this okay around there we go see nothing impossible really but I like to do some kind of a weird things that 
only me that is doing LOLs. Okay, so after that, that's what I said. We got different kind of key rings here. You know, this one, but you gotta use about maybe 10, nine, eight to make it harder like this, okay? But this I just showing you and tell, okay? See, after that, I'm going to make my own purse charm and I put this on elephant. I like elephant. Make sure when you get the elephant, the trunk is up, okay? Not down. And then I have this to my charm, to my purse. And you still get this if you want. You buy that. It's a big safety pin. And you can insert this one around like a key. Okay, and then you make your charm. You can do a lot of things, okay? So, this is all about, and I got all the charm and charms there and a lot of goodies about making this and this and that so i'll see you in the part two this is part one of making your own key ring okay okay part two is how i put together the charm for the purse okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next part two bye bye for now okay uh mom darling workshop darling workshop darling workshop from usa Hey, Ma'am Darling Workshop no, ng uh, Virginia Beach, uh, USA. Shout out. Hey, Ma'am Darling Workshop, shout out po.